Hello. And in this message, I wanted to address and, and extrapolate on the previous concepts of uh, dimensional shifting, um, frequency adjustments, and what it means for you to start a fresh life. And so the, the idea behind starting a new or starting a fresh um, a lot of times carries a lot of, um, um, in the past, it has carried a lot of um, nuance that was um, versed in fear. It, were, right, it was versed in the unknowns and it was versed in the ideas that something that is unknown uh, could potentially bring on our worst imagination possible, right? And so because a lot of the time starting fresh originated from the point of a low, um, we, we tend to have fears and we tend to have um, biases against the concept. And so I wanted to touch on the, the sense of self and I wanted to bring in a sense of self review that would need to interpret and realize that starting anew and starting fresh can be and is done from the standpoint of a, just a complete shift of your um, imagination, complete shift of your being uh, without having to experience uh, any kind of uh, uh, good or bad shifts or, or inclinations of lows and highs. And so the, the dualistic aspect that carries the fear behind the concept of starting anew um, no longer exists or does not need to exist whenever you start to interpret yourself as a new being into your form, right? Mm -hmm. And so how that shift presents within you or how that decision to start anew presents on you is simply by bringing the energetic signature within um, that intuitively or vibrationally only allows you to function forth um, in a particular way. Uh, and in the way that is building honesty um, and integrity, not towards others, not towards the world, not towards the, uh, the output of your being, but towards the inner knowing of you. And so the honest way that you can honor yourself um, is basically the starting point of of going forward uh, in interpreting yourself from the standpoint of um, you're living anew in your current life. And so I wanted to separate that fear. I wanted to separate the ideas of what it might have meant in the past uh, and what it actually means here and now and basically as the interpretation into the future. And that concept also rests in the idea that as you as you walk your world, as you walk the discovery of you in this fresh vibrational interpretation, um, you have a sea, an infinity of decisions to make um, of what you might look like today and what you might look like tomorrow, right? What concepts of you might fit and might not fit from any one moment to any one interpretation of um, a kind of almost a galactic adventure that is your life. And so I, I bring in the galactic um, galactic concepts or galactic um, uh, explanation into this realm is because it would almost feel um, that the version of you that is living today um, is all encompassing and it is all uh, available, right? And so you will feel the size of you, the expansiveness of you to be so much larger than anything you have been able to feel or interpret before that the possibilities of your expression, right, uh, can no longer be limited in, in anything that has been preset in the past. In the past, hence, I say, awakening or starting anew, right? Your new life is larger than life. <laughs> Um, it is larger than anything you have been able to to experience before. And so therefore, the only way that you can hold true space for your self-discovery, true space for your own knowing, is by starting anew, by, by realizing that the new carries vastness, it carries possibility, it carries expansive 
galactic size interpretations of your actions, right? Um, and so with that, there is this energy uh, that is being inserted in that is pure joy and pure excitement and expression of yourself on um, the divine level of consciousness with utmost awareness behind that. And so I allow you to take this time and to realize that the, the a new, the new, new life forward um, with it carries and presents in endless possibilities of expressions of yourself as the divine being. Um, it, it, it allows you to interpret your love, your way of being um, in the pure, unique reflection of you as the soul self uh, that is following and expressing its own expression. Um, and that is the only, the only way possible you can continue to live forward. Um, and the beauty of yourself that you can see forward lies in that. Um, the, this newness, this new life, the new expression of you that you're willingly partaking in um, is magical, ever-growing, ever-expansive, and is in fact um, the only definition of the divine. You are the only definition of the divine. Your expression of self, your expression of your true nature of being um, is your um, definition um, of the divine. And the divine is the divine within you through that, right? Through, through this interpretation, this endless love, the ever-flowing um, essence that, that ebbs and flows between uh, what might seem there's a microcosm of you uh, expressing itself in the macrocosm of the world or the divine interpretation. And so you'll be able to, to see your small actions of self. I say small, not from the dualistic standpoint, but the micro the micro interpretations of you as the macro interpretations of the whole. And, and so one will feed uh, the other and the other will feed the one, right? And so this flow um, will, will, will be ever expansive uh, and ever adaptive. And so your true interpretation rests in that space. Your true interpretation of your divinity, of your love for self and thus love for the world um, rests in this flow. It rests from in this, uh, in this microcosm, macrocosm expression of back and forth, um, outside of limiting concepts, outside of limiting beliefs, because you know then the frequency of those no longer holds the space. Uh, but but now, where the magic lies is the the infinite expanse of expression that you're able to hold. Um, they, you know, I, I will not be able to quantify uh, the size of that love um, and the size of the essence of you that is larger than vastness, um, that, that is now able to, uh, to truly propagate yourself forth uh, and truly embrace and know uh, this feeling and this love and the essence of the divine in, in each uh, in every piece, the refractory nature uh, of its presence within you. And so, yeah, uh, it, is, it is beautiful in its potential, and I would, I would brand it as a new start, uh, simply because um, the old concepts of self cannot be held um, in the space where you are right now. So not, not, not a start because of something bad, but a start because of something most magical and I knew um, that is now holding the possibilities of your interpretation and your existence into this world uh, and then to all the times forth from here on out. So allow yourself to express. Just, just allow yourself to express the essence that you already have flowing within you uh, and no need to hold back. Uh, it's time to express yourself and, and allow yourself to feel your own magic. And I love you for all the steps in the world that you will take from now and forth. Um, because you're a beautiful being. And then now the beauty of you can finally flow forth. Um, and the magnificence of that space. 
um, has been yours for a long time coming. So thank you.